Hello, this is Mrs McTaggart and you are watching video oh, four now, three, four in the integration series. We're getting near the end. This is looking at the area between a curve and the x-axis. So the reason we integrate is to find areas, right? So integration of a curve is used to calculate an area that's bounded, that means trapped by the x-axis and where x equals a and x equals b. Now, so far you've actually seen this. You didn't know why you were doing it though. So that a and b are called your limits. They're the numbers that we substitute in. They correspond to the x values in this diagram here and here. So these are the numbers that actually become in with b and a. So we know the highest one goes on the top. So the one that the, the furthest right goes on the top. And if you integrate your equation and plug in those numbers, you're essentially working out that area there in red. How cool is that? Because it's not a regular shape. So we all must have always wondered, how do you find the area of these irregular shapes? Um, so let's have a look at some examples straight into it. So we have to find the shaded area here. So I'm looking at that little red bit. So first thing you have to do is set up your question. So we are looking for the integral of 9 take away x squared, which is the equation of our, our, our curve. Um, we are looking for it from 2 to 1. So read backwards. So you always put the highest one, furthest right on the top, 2 to 1. Now this is an important bit. You must write dx here. If you don't write dx, you will not get the mark. So whenever you're having to set up your own integration question, you must write dx at the end. It's really one of those annoying things. If you don't write it, you miss it, okay? So that's us. And then it literally becomes the same as the last lesson of my video. What is nice about these ones, though, is because we are doing equations of curves and things, it's pretty much like x squared and x cubed. So there's no, um, there's no negative powers. There's no square roots or anything flying around. So it actually gets a little bit simpler in terms of the integration. So if we integrate this, we get 9x take away, nine, uh, sorry, x cubed all over three, and we're doing it from numbers two to one. So we do nine times two, take away two cubed over three, and then take away nine times one. So we're putting in one now. So take away one cubed all over three. Now, sometimes you might start substituting and calculating at the same time, but for notes, I'm putting in every single little step here. Now, this gives us 18 take away 8 thirds minus 9 take away 1 third. So we're going to test our fraction work here. Now, I the different ways of doing it, people like working with mixed fractions. I like to keep everything top heavy. So that 18 into thirds would be 3 times 18, which is 54 thirds. Take away eight thirds. And then that nine all into thirds would be 27 thirds. Take away one third. So I have 46 thirds for the first bracket. Take away 26 thirds for the second bracket, which gives me a total of 20 thirds. And you can leave it as 20 thirds. And because we're talking area, it has to be units squared. Sometimes they'll mention in the question if it's in context, whether it's meter squared or centimeter squared, but in the absence of any units, you just write units squared. So you find the area of that little curved shape. How cool is that? Okay, this one's a bit trickier because on the previous one, I gave you the numbers that you were doing it between. On this one, I haven't. So there must be a way to do that. Well, there is. You have to factorize. So we have to factorize to get the limits now, okay? And there will be other things we do in the next video to get the limits to look forward to. So let's factorise this equal to zero. So we have um, x squared minus 6x equals zero, which gives you x bracket x minus 6 equals zero. Break this down, you get x equals zero and x equals six, which matches my picture beautifully. So when setting up the question, this is integral from six to zero of your equation dx. Now when we integrate this we get x to the power 3 over 3 minus 6x squared over 2. So let's tidy that up. So x cubed over 3, 6 over 2 is just 3, so 3x squared. When I plug in the number 6 I get 6 cubed over 3 and take away 3 times 6 squared. When I plug in the 0, I just get 0, so let's just leave it at that. Leave it more space. Okay, 
six cubed is, I've done this already, is 216 over 3. Um, so I'm going to write that in. 216 over 3. Take away 6 squared is 36 times 3 is 108. Uh, I don't need to take away 0 now. Right, 216 divided by 3. I can picture the sum and see that that's 72. Take away 108, which is negative 36. Now, hold on. Ne your area can't be negative. Let's go look at our picture again. Do you notice anything different about this picture and the last picture? The last picture had a positive area, and the area was um, on a picture that where it was above the x-axis like this, right? This one, the coloured in bit, is below. So this is why I'm getting out the negative. So all you have to do to save this is say, beside this, area below, x-axis, So your area is positive 36 units squared. Don't just score it out, write that you've understood why you're getting the negative. Now the reason you're getting the negative is technically, whenever you've been finding the area so far, you've technically been doing the area of the curve minus the x-axis. Now the x-axis is just the line y equals zero. So you're just doing the curve take away zero. Technically, what we should be doing here is we're doing the integral of 0 minus the curve, which then makes us be integrating the complete opposite of what we've got. We would then be doing the integral of um, negative x squared and plus 6x. And when we sub into all of this, we would have got the number 36. But this causes a lot of confusion, a lot of mistakes then made in signs, and it can cause you to lose two marks rather than maybe just one. So it's easier to just notice, okay, I'm getting a negative area because it's below the x-axis and save the day by writing area below the x-axis, so area equals 36 and turn it positive. But again, please write why you're turning it positive, okay? Right, final example is this one. To make life easy, I have put the numbers on this one for you so we can see what the integrals are. But this one, we have to do these completely separately. We've got an area above, let's call this area one. And we've got an area below, we're going to call that area 2. And then we can add the 2 together. So area 1 will be the integral from 2 to negative 3 of the curve. 6 minus x minus x squared dx. Which gives us uh, 6x minus x squared over 2 minus x cubed over 3. From 2 to negative 3. Okay. Now, this gives us, when we plug in our numbers, 6 times 2 minus 2 squared over 2 minus 2 cubed over 3. Take away 6 times minus 3. What, oh, lots of negatives going on here and fractions. Easy to mess up. So I'm going to take my time working out each of these bits. Right, 6 times 2 is 12. 2 squared is 4, divided by 2 is 2. 2 cubed is 8, so that gets to stay as 8 over 3. Now what you can do is just while your head's in the game of this side, that's 10 take away 8 over 3. That 10 is a bit like 30 over 3, take away 8 over 3. So this side gives us 22 over 3. Right, now I'm going to come and do this bracket. 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. Negative 3 squared is 9. So minus 9 over 2. Negative 3 cubed is 27, but there's a negative out front. So that turns into a plus 27 over 3. Now hold on, 27 over 3 is just 9. So I'm just going to go back and write that as just 9. And then tidying that up, negative 8 plus 9 gives me minus 9, minus 9 over 2. Uh, minus 9 and halves would be 18 halves, minus 9 over 2. So this gives me take away uh, negative 27 over 2. Now, I don't think I've had any examples like this just yet. We have a double negative going on, so this becomes a big old add in the middle. I'm going to do smile and kiss here and turn it into a common denominator. 
or I could turn them all into six. So let's just do it that way. So double the first one gives me 44 over six. Big old plus in the middle now times this one by three gives me 81 over six. Add these together, I have 125 all over six units squared. And that does not simplify. Okay, now that's just area one. I need to go do area two now, right? So I need to see what my question was again. So my question for number two, I'm going to change my pen colour and I'm going to come right over here. So this will be the integral of negative three to negative four of the same question. And I'm going to just create myself some space. And I'm going to do this all over here. So we have already integrated this. So you could just copy this from before. Um, I'll need to do it again because I've wiped the screen. So I've got 7x minus x squared over 2 minus x cubed all over 3. And we're doing it from minus 3 to minus 4. Now, we have already subbed in the number for minus 3. And we got, what did we get? We got negative 27 over 2. So we're just going to steal that negative 27 over 2 for the minus 3 bit. Take away. And then we're going to sub in the minus 4. So 6 times minus 4. Take away minus 4 squared all over 2. Oh, my pen's going a bit dodgy now. Take away, oh, minus 4 cubed all over 3. So first bit done. Take away. Right, 6 times minus 4 is negative 24. Negative 4 squared is 16. Divided by 2 is 8, so take away 8. Negative 4 cubed is negative 64 with a positive out, with a negative out front. Turn it into double negative, so that's 64 over 3. So I've got negative 27 over 2. Don't know where my square bracket's gone there. Take away. Minus 24 minus 8 is negative 32. Now, negative 32, I'm going to times that by 3 and turn it all into thirds at the same time. So that's negative 96 over 3 plus 64 over 3. So I did 24 take away 8, it was negative 32. I've just gone to the side and skipped a little line. So negative 27 over 2. Take away. Right, 96. Minus 96 had 64 is 32 over 3. But there's a minus. Um, if I just create a wee bit more space. Uh, I'm going to do turn these all into 6. So table the first one is minus 81 over 6. Big old plus in the middle. Double this one is 64 over 6. When I add them, I have um, 17. So negative 17 over 6. Now remember from the picture, area 2 was below the x-axis. So I can then just write with my pen hopefully, area below x-axis so area 2 is 17 over 6 units squared and all that's left to do now is get my total so I can do this down here if I can just zoom a little bit so we can see all this working so my total was now back to a black pen. So the total area was 125 over 6 plus 17 over 6 which is 1, 4, um, my oh, mind's gone completely blank. So that would be 1, 4, 5, take away 3 is 1, 4, 2 over 6. Now this does simplify, that would go down to 71 over 3 units squared. So where possible, please do simplify. Okay. Oh, it's been a long one. Um, they're not particularly popular as ones, but if you just take your time, honestly, it's not too bad. 
Okay, so hopefully you've understood this okay. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.